Vega. I was born on the island of Praia Santiago in Cabo Verde. My father is Portuguese and my mom is from Cape Verde. And uh, being the daughter of a Portuguese father and a Cape Verdean mother, there was some difficulties because Cape Verde wanted to become an independent country from Portugal and so the revolution started. And because of this, we had to leave. We left everything behind, all that we had, all that my parents worked for. I was raised in a way um, very old-fashioned that a woman has her place and the man has his place. And this mentality with being in America started to create inside of me something that I found myself so I would I became very strong from very young and I remember I had $100 one bag of clothes and so I needed to find my way and the experiences was really when I discovered the nightlife of New York City the unfolding of the nightlife of New York City was uh, the moment I went to Sound Factory Bar. Their playing was Louis Vega and inside was just the moment like my breath was taken away and felt like, okay, I'm home. <laughs> so my, my dream in New York was always to follow music. Okay, so I did, I, I found a coach in New York City by the name of Don Lawrence. So the first song I wrote was called Mami Mama. From there, after the tour that summer, we recorded a second album uh, for Elements of Life and continued touring. Once that finished, Louis and I thought, okay, it was time for me to do my solo album called Anane's World. And during at home or vacation, I was always playing my iPod. And, and Louis said, you know, you have a really good ear for music. Why don't you try and DJ? But this night at the Submercer, Stefan said to me, you know, it, come, just, just do a party. <laughs> and so I went, played everything that I love about music. And uh, Stefan said to me, you know, people are really enjoying your music and I think we should do something maybe once a month. And so that's how it started. I had the honor to play during uh, Obama's first term for his inaugural ball in Washington. And for me to be there as a DJ, as a woman, as a Cape Verdean woman, as an immigrant, meant so much to me. And it just, it, it continues to prove that anything is possible. I also was asked to participate in the ANC in South Africa, in Polo Kwane, uh, where I was the only woman DJing in front of 10,000 kids. And the opportunity to speak in front of 10,000 kids in South Africa is really something empowering that doesn't happen often. But again, always my message is always to the youth, but most importantly to women. There's no age. It's never too late to arrive to your dreams, and you're never too young to have a dream. And so, uh, in that being said, 